This is called Translator, and it's from a long poem called The Amistad, which takes up the historical case of uh, the Amistad captives who in the 1830s were stolen from the western coast of Africa and were on a ship sailing from Cuba when uh, they mutinied on board and asked the navigator to sail them back to Africa. And instead, they ended up on the shores of Connecticut. So their their legal status had to be determined. And they were, uh, needless to say, not English speakers. So uh, a Yale professor named Josiah Willard Gibbs brought his students to try to learn their language and help them tell their story in court. But what he really needed was a translator. And so in this particular poem of the long poem, I uh, imagine the perspective of the man who Professor Gibbs found, James Covey. So it's called Translator James Covey. I was stolen from Mende Land as a child, then rescued by the British ship Buzzard and brought to Freetown, Sierra Leone. I love ships and the sea, joined this crew of my own accord, set sail as a teen, now resupplying in New York Harbor. When the white professor first came to me, babbling sounds, I thought he needed help until Weta, my mother's six, hooked my ear, and I knew what he was saying, and I knew what he wanted in an instant, for we had heard wild tales of black pirates off New London, the captives, the low black schooner like so many ships, an infinity of ships fatted with Africans, men, women, children, as I was. Now it is my turn to rescue. I have not spoken Mende in some years, yet every night I dream it, or silence. To New Haven, to the jail, to my people. Who am I now, this them, not them? We burst with joy to speak and settle the tale. We killed the cook, who said he would cook us. They rubbed gunpowder and vinegar in our wounds. We were taken away in broad daylight. And in a loud voice, loud as a thousand waves, I sing my father's song. It shakes the jail. I sing for my entire black body. Elizabeth Alexander. Hear her interview with Krista Tippett at onbeing.org.